John Murray with Concept Laser Incorporated. Today we're uh, showing our M2 platform, which is the workhorse of the, of the product family. We have the smallest machine in the industry up to the very largest platform, and the M2 is a multi-laser system and features uh, ATEX safety compliance, vario scan optics, which allows you to vary the laser beam size for faster production, uh, five times the filter size of the previous models, and uh, a smaller footprint, so no external boxes or hoser, hoses, a very, uh, very clean, clean architecture. I think it's driven from the, the um, rigor and the innovation of our founder, Frank Herzog. He's been an innovator through the entire industry since the 1990s. He was the first one to get fully dense metal parts, uh, first one to do the island strategy, hybrid build style, conformal cooling. He's been an innovator since the beginning and continues to innovate uh, with our newest products, the Factory of Tomorrow. Factory of the Future is based on a different architecture so that we can get people out of the process. And all the systems that are available on the market today, an operator has to approach the machine, start it, prepare it. When the build is done, they have to unpack the part. Well, we're getting humans out of that entire cycle. And this is going to be all done with autonomous vehicles, with robots, and really allowing companies to scale up big time, to get into hundreds of systems in an architecture. And that's the foundation of the Factory of Tomorrow. Feedback on the Factory of Tomorrow has been absolutely stellar. We have customers already looking for pricing and we haven't released that yet. That platform goes into beta test later this year and then into production in 2017. So that's a completely different architecture, a different way of approaching the market and a real game changer. Uh, growth has been 50% uh, year over year for a number of years, both in revenues as well as a uh, number of systems sold, and we don't see that abating. In fact, we see it probably accelerating. So we're building new factory space, more production capacity, and expanding as, as the market continues to grow. The real drivers behind uh, metals has been really getting fully dense parts with full metallurgical properties. And that was, it was a pipe dream not many years ago. And now that's become reality and now we have components like this Airbus bracket that are flying on the Airbus A350XWB and that's going to drive the factory of tomorrow because in the current architecture it's really difficult to scale up. You can get 10 machines, 20 machines, but you still have way too much human involvement and the factory of tomorrow will alleviate that and allow customers to really scale on a, on a grand, uh, grand level. Our movement is toward automation. So we've done a lot of automation already in our factory in Germany. This is something we've done before in other products with our EDM um, electrode lines using robots and a lot of integration with CMMs. Uh, and we see that really as the vision for this technology going forward. And until we get to that, it's always going to be a prototype, niche type market. But this will change it completely. Just more innovation, that's what it's all about. Innovate, innovate, innovate. And uh, Frank has always led us as a, as a world-class leading organization. We continue to innovate. The Factory of Tomorrow is a perfect example. And you can see that, that Factory of Tomorrow in our vision on our website.